All right, we were just drawing atoms in the last session. Now it's your turn to try. Here are seven atoms. Look them up on your periodic table, get the numbers, and draw the atoms with the electrons in each of the rings. Go ahead and pause the video. We'll come back in a few minutes and see how you did. All right, let's see how you did. Nitrogen is element 7. So what you should have is two electrons in the first, five, one, two, three, four, five, for a grand total of seven. Neon is the next one. It's element 10. That would be one, two in the first, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and two is 10. You'll notice this one exactly worked out. That one's interesting. As a matter of fact, that's why neon is called a noble gas. It's already full, exactly. This guy, for example, is not. He's got five in the outside ring. He's not full. It doesn't matter. He's just not full. Sodium is number 11. So that means there are two in the first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the second. Eight and two is ten. One more ring that I'm going to cram in there. And one in the outside. He's not full either. He's close, but he had to put one more electron in the outside ring. Chlorine, element 17. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8. 8 and 2 is 10. 7 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Is that guy full? No, he's getting close. He actually has an empty spot. Now, you don't have to draw the box. There's not really a box there, but I draw that box so that we can look at it and go, oh, he's close to being full, but he's not. Sulfur. Let's see. I'm going to have to slide sulfur over here to get him more thin. Sulfur is element number 16. Well, 16, let's see, that's uh, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's 8 and 2 is 10. Let's see, this guy is 16, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, there's no special place to put them, you just have to make sure you have all of them right. Aluminum is number 13. Um, let's see, that would be 2, and then 8, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 3 in the outside. Not too difficult. Argon. Hint, if you look where argon is, argon looks very similar to neon. He's in the same column. We'll talk about that here in a second. See how it turns out. Argon is element number 18, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So an 8 is 10, and he's got 8 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wow. These two right here are the only two that are full. Everybody else is not. Now, again, it's nothing magical to be full. In a minute, we're going to talk about how atoms uh, look at being full, but Wow, these two guys look very similar. This guy's one ring bigger, but it worked out exactly for both of these. Let me give you a hint at this point. This is why the periodic table looks the way it does. You'll notice that neon and argon are in the same column. What we're going to find is that's how they made families or groups, the columns, where these are called the noble gases. They all act very similar. Halogen, they all act very similar. The same is true over here as well. They all act very similar to each other. So this is how you draw atoms. If you got them right, you've got it. You're ready to move on to the next section. If not, you may want to go back and try them again. That's how you draw atoms.